Hey guys, real quick. This short video is sponsored by Duke Cannon. Get some of their cologne and don't smell like a little bitch. Woman will thank you for it. Trust me. Click the link in the description and get free shipping on orders over $25. Like my dad is very calm. It's almost like a scary, eerie calm. Mm -hmm. You know, my mom would yell, but my father wouldn't yell. You know, he would just look at her. You know, and my, and my dad would, he, my dad, I would always ask my dad, like, what is that? He'd be like, I shoot her with this energy called indifference. And I wait to see what she's going to, what she's going to give back to me. Yeah. Because the house, I, it, the house she lives in, I pay for the food that she eats. I pay for the car she drives. I pay for. Yeah. So I, so he would look at her like he was confused he, and, and it would scare my mom because my dad, you know, I asked my dad one time, I was like, dad, how do you live with my mom? My mom's crazy sometimes. He's like, I live with the comfort of knowing that if she leaves, no man could deal with her but me. And she knows that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? The way you described your dad mm. is exactly how uh, Corey Wayne in How to Be a 3% Man tells, uh, tells men, like, this is the way you need to be. This is what women are attracted to. And a mm -hmm. lot of us growing up, like I certainly wasn't. My dad was a dick to my mom, but he was also the kind of guy that would like lose his temper at her. She would nag the shit out of him. Like, really? I'm, like yeah, they, they, uh, yeah, like I'm 99% sure like they stopped having sex sometime like after my brother and I were born. You know, I'm, I'm sure that oh, they wow. weren't doing any of that. They're mm. still together, but it's like more out of spite than anything. And so, like, like I was, I learned relationships by watching my parents, like most of us have. Same, and, same. and, and so it wasn't until it wasn't until like last year that I started studying this stuff at the beginning of the year. I think the first, the first Manosphere book I read was no more Mr. Nice guy. Mm. And, uh, but yeah, like Corey Wayne's book, he talks about that, like indifference makes the difference, you know? Um, and in Atomic Attraction, they talk about, you know, either be indifferent or agree and amplify. But the way you describe your dad is exactly the way men have to deal with women. You know, yes. they can't yes. lose their cool. He just he just, <laughs> just stares at her with an energy of indifference. I love that. Yeah. my You know, my dad was a sniper in the military. Okay. Um, so he always told me he had, he had to learn from like, you know, from all of that. You have to stay calm under times of great stress. Yeah. Because if not, you're going to die. Yeah. And he applies that to everything he does now. You know, and my I dad always told me, he's like, you know, love is a tricky thing. He says it's, it's never the same in the beginning, but if you truly care about it, it can be in the end. 